I thought was really charming because this basically proved that Bianca Sensori, Ye's wife now, is definitely a down girl. She's definitely for the team. She's definitely a ride or die woman because some random person online, maybe he's like a Riz God. Maybe that's part of his like social media shit that he does. But some dude must have randomly bumped into Bianca Sensori at a shopping mall somewhere where she was buying some shorts, he says in a clip. And he tried to pull her, right? He tried to give her a bit of riz, tried to give her a bit of game. And she kind of turned him down in the most graceful way possible. The funny thing I've seen online about the, about the, the response to this is that people are now saying, even though Bianca Sensori said clearly, I'm married, and she didn't let the guy take her number or whatnot and was you know, kind about it. People are now saying that she was laughing too much. She was being too friendly. So I'm thinking to myself, women can't win, can they? If they're too friendly with some dudes, they'll take it as a sign that the woman, that the woman's look giving you an invitation for you to like try and pursue it, even though she's got a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or they look at you like you're a whore or something or whatever it may be. But I thought she dealt with it very well, in my personal opinion, um, you know, in the most respectable way possible without being too rude about it in that regard. But people still aren't happy with this response. So let me play the clip for you so you can see what I mean. This is Bianca Sensori, Kanye's wife, um, you know, gracefully rejecting a guy trying to pull her. Sexy, my name New. Thank you. Nice to meet Thank you. You You're from LA? Yes. Oh, okay, I just moved down here and shit, man. Where are you from? Chicago. Nice. Yeah, and you got good you. eye contact. The only thing that, that I don't like about his video, she's probably smiling a little bit too much and it is giving a lot of teeth. Don't get me wrong. She's got a lot of teeth. But one thing that's very clear on this video, this woman is very, very attractive, like pretty in the face because she doesn't look like she's wearing a lot of makeup. She's got her hair slicked back. There's not a lot of like stuff going on in her face to kind of make her, you know, to kind of accentuate her looks. This is kind of fresh faces you can get. And she does look really good in the face. Let's not deny that. But people are still complaining that she's smiling. If if I'm going to be nitpicky, I'll say the smile's a bit too wide for me, right? Maybe bring it in a little bit more. But she's still very, very pretty in the face. And she still, you know, turned him down very graciously. <laughs> yeah. Are you just shopping around? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. You? Uh, yeah, it's the same. I, there's just a pair of shorts I wanted to see. Yeah, I get your number. <laughs> so yeah she says she's married i don't i don't mind that man i don't mind that um i think it's too far i think when i've had fe when i've had female friends i spoke to about this issue a lot of female friends i speak to about this sort of stuff a lot of women for the most part especially if they're not interested in the person they just get annoyed at the attention they get annoyed at the attention they get annoyed they don't like the attention um you know people interrupting them during their day bugging them talking to them coming to their personal space they just don't like it and i guess it's different if you're i guess it's a lot heightened i guess it's worse if you're really attractive or conventionally attractive um you probably get a lot of guys leering at you talking to you and it can get annoying after a while but sometimes the thing that i don't like when i spoke to my female friends is that i don't like it when they say that they want to be rude you know, like as a way to kind of shut it down. Because the reason why I don't like that is because you can't control how butthurt that's going to make a guy feel. Some guys take rejection very well. Some guys don't take rejection well. And I don't think a woman should play, should roll the dice on that. I feel like you should just treat everything with kindness and courtesy like this and walk away. You can't be shutting down guys rudely because you don't know what he's going to do. He might be unhinged. And he might just like go crazy on you. And that would be the worst kind of scenario to be, especially if you're a dude and that's your partner and stuff like, you know what I mean? Because you could see red in that instance and legitimately catch an M charge. So, you know, I think in some respects, if you can be courteous and you can be cool and you can turn somebody down gracefully, you can. But then I also understand it can be really annoying if you're a woman and you just left your house and you've had 59 people leer at you and 27 people try and talk to you and you're just trying to get to work you're just trying to go meet your friend to for dinner and shit it can be fucking exhausting but i just don't think it's sensible and it's safe <laughs> to turn down dudes really aggressively and to tell them to fuck off and shit because you don't know how unhinged this guy can be and most women you know pale in terms of size and strength and shit when it comes to dudes and it's just not worth it personally just with grace 
keep it moving. I'm married, I'm taken, I'm not interested, whatever it may be, and keep it moving. I don't think that's anything wrong in that, personally. I don't think there's anything wrong in that. So I think Bianca Sensori did the right thing here. Um, don't get me wrong. Am I too enamored about the smile? Am I too enamored about the giggle and the like after you're sexy? Probably not. But again, to be fair to her, somebody's allowed to come up to you and say you're sexy without it being an issue and without you instantly saying I'm married. That's also a weird response. It's like when people say, oh, I like your jacket. Oh, it's from Primark. It's from the charity shop. Don't devalue your, don't kind of like dismiss the compliment straight away because you're not comfortable with, you know, receiving a compliment or whatever it may be or something that you're wearing. So you just devalue it and take it away by saying it's from Primark or it's from the charity shop. The same thing with this. A guy can objectively say, oh, I think you look really amazing. Your reply doesn't need to be, I'm married. <laughs> That's insane. Just say, thank you very much and keep it moving. If they did try and say, hey, can I get your number and see you again? No, I'm not interested. No, I'm taken. Cool. But it doesn't always need to be met with fucking, you know what I mean? Like, boom, slam the door in their face. It could just be like an innocent, thank you, you know, you look good. I understand some women don't like to receive compliments from people that they, they, they don't know. But I don't know. Sometimes I look at, maybe because I'm into fashion and shit. But if somebody's wearing a cool outfit, I'll tell them, you, you got a cool outfit on. Whoa, I fucking love your outfit. I love your shoes. I love your dress. I love this, whatever. And it shouldn't mean I love your dress. I love to see what you look like when you're not wearing it. No, it could just mean I love your fucking dress. But I know it always sounds weird coming from like a straight guy's point of view. Because I guess if you're gay, you can get away with it to say that kind of thing more. But if you're straight, you can't. And also maybe should you be looking at women's dresses and what their boobs look like and tops and shit? It should you do that in your mind if you're, if you're with somebody? Probably not, I'm sure. But... I don't think she did anything wrong here, personally, for me. She did nothing wrong here. She handled like a champ. And um, yeah, one thing to a certain, she definitely is very pretty in the face. And one thing is for certain, Ye has the fucking... Ye has the game of the century. He has a pretty good rap sheet. I thought ASAP Rocky had a pretty good one. And so does Drake and maybe French Montana, right? They've got a really legendary kind of CV. Even someone like a... What's his name? The white comedian. He's got a really good CV, but if you think about it, Kanye's got a pretty decent hit list, right? His CV is not that bad. You have to be honest when it comes to the women's. He knows how to pick them. And she's some, she's some, I won't say random, but she was fairly unknown because allegedly she was working at Yeezy as a architecture or something for a long time. So Ye and her have known each other for a while. But yeah, she's really, really attractive, like in the face for sure. I think now you see, because this is a shitty camera phone video um and she's clearly not wearing that much makeup but she looks already that good in the face without any kind of accoutrements and shit so big up yay yay always wins yay always wins moving on from that one let's talk about yeah oh yeah and then of course most of you have seen it already it? have you seen this um there's some pictures of she of her she took modeling um what she did recently modeling uh yeezy season which i don't think i don't know what she's actually modeling because it looks like paint it doesn't even look like clothing to me but there's some pictures here of her modeling some bits and pieces from yeezy that went kind of viral um a couple of days ago which i wasn't really too fond of but you know you, you know yeah he likes to kind of use his girls as muses to kind of um present some of his ideas on clothing and that around so it's got some sort of relevance to it i think if i'm not mistaken this was all designed by the girl from mawa lola the founder of that she kind of put this stuff together essentially is her with what looks like a cross sign um you know raising up her buttocks and shit and really long thigh high boots that look like they've been painted on and shit and this cross bird this this cross thing this rectangle square thing on top of her boobies that's covered in black also this is very very daring this is the kind of thing that i'd like to see actually on fucking um on red carpets and shit i think if you're gonna go on red carpets and you're gonna do premieres i want to see something challenging or something kind of like out of this world i don't want to just see you wearing this regular ball gown really kind of push the envelope and wear something racy like this this will be absolutely incredible i would flip and love it personally i would love to see something like that if that was the case and more pictures here, of course, of the thing as well um, for Yeezy season. So big up Bianca Sensori, big up them. It's looking good. Big up them. <laughs> 